So on that note, to without further ado, taking things forward, once again, thank you everyone uh, for joining us for this very interesting virtual gathering. And right now for the closing remarks, we are delighted to have amongst us Justice A.K. Sikri. Justice A.K. Sikri uh, has been judge of the Supreme Court of India. He has an excellent academic record uh, with specialization in cases of arbitration, commercial matters, constitutional issues, service-related matters. He has been a counsel for numerous public sector undertaking, banks, financial institutions. He's also been an excellent academic at the University of Delhi, uh, uh, been a lecturer at the Campus Law Center, Vice President Delhi, University, Delhi High Court Bar Association, member of governing body of various colleges, and he's dealt with all kinds of jurisdictions. So on that note, uh, as we take things forward for the closing keynote remarks with respect to legal era, seventh annual bankruptcy and uh, bankruptcy and insolvency summit, we're delighted to welcome Justice A.K. Sikri, so we welcome you and we look forward to important insights from you with respect to taking things forward. As you pointed out at several occasions that IBC is just not related to economics, but IBC plays a very important role with reference to the development in the country too. So on that note, sir, greetings from all of us here at Legal Era. We welcome you and we look forward to learning important insights from you in the session. Just a secret, please. Thank you, Dr. Amna. And uh, let me say at the outset that uh, this session is not there in the original program. I was supposed to be there in uh, the session relating to mediation or in the morning session. But uh, there was some, it seems, uh, uh, misunderstanding or so. Uh, I didn't uh, go through the program. I was orally told that uh, mediation session is at 4 o'clock. And uh, so uh, on that note, uh, I thought that, okay, I will be joining that session. But uh, th this is the uh, uh, wisdom uh, of the organizers that they thought that, okay, if I am not able to join, so I may be uh, here uh, at a valedictory function uh, or a valedictory address and or the keynote speaker at the end. But uh, having said so, and uh, uh, as I've told you that I was supposed to be there insofar as mediation session is concerned, I will not be touching upon all other aspects, but uh, would take only five to seven minutes because I know this uh, uh, conference was to finish at four o'clock. It's already 4.30. So I don't want to detain uh, the attendees uh, and all delegates uh, further, but uh, we'll say something about uh, mediation and how it is necessary insofar as uh, insolvency uh, uh, cases are concerned. Let me uh, start with the, uh, 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 the, the importance or uh, I would say the significance of the mediation process as such. I won't uh, uh, dilate much on that uh, as now what mediation can do is known. It started in this uh, country when we uh, amended section 80 or rather inserted section 89 in CPC in the year two, 1999. And uh, in 2005, when our first mediation center uh, was opened in Delhi in Peace as a, um, uh, it, it was as, uh, on experimental basis. But uh, in last uh, 16 or 17 years, we have come a long way and uh, today everybody knows the importance of uh, mediation. I would only say one thing here. Very interestingly, when it comes to court cases, generally court system as such, and we have section, eight, not only section 89, but otherwise also it is today now believed that look, we should go for mediation if possible, Initially, it may have started for the reason that the courts are overburdened with the work and therefore it's an alternate uh, route where the court's burden can be lessened. But it is now believed and it is now felt that 
in many cases and under many circumstances, mediation can be the best form of access to justice. And the resolution which is uh, achieved or which is arrived at due to negotiations uh, in, in any dispute, that may be far better than what can be uh, the decision of the uh, court in an adjudicatory process. So it became an alternative, so-called alternative to court system, not only to save the courts from burden, but in order to provide better justice under many circumstances, I have said, to the litigants also. Now see another very interesting facet there is another arbitra uh, 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 another ADR mechanism which we know in the form of arbitration, which has is time tested, no doubt about it. There are many advantages of arbitration, which is still in vogue, and uh, 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 the people have faith in that system. At the same time, in last many years, uh, many uh, ill effects, or uh, I will not say ill effects, or I will say that uh, the uh, uh, weaknesses of arbitration system are also discussed, not only in domestic arbitration, but at international level also. And many, uh, those who are the thinkers and uh, in many arbitral institutions worldwide, they have been trying to improve arbitration system as well, going by the fact that it was cost effective, it was time effective but uh, that purpose is not being served sometimes the sometimes the uh, uh, i mean even the resolution which comes out of the arbitral uh, proceedings in the form of adjudication may not be acceptable to the parties or parties are not satisfied but uh, here uh, without going into that debate what i am trying to impress is that most of the institutions have come out with hybrid system which we call, and by introducing mediation into the arbitration. It may be med arb, it may be arb med, it may be med arb med. So these are introduced. Why? In even in order to strengthen arbitration, mediation has come to the rescue of the arbitration. So my hypothesis is today, Mediation is becoming savior of the judicial system. It is becoming savior of the arbitration system. It is to be looked into not only that it brings about just resolutions in the form of settlement, but then it is now inevitable uh, ingredient, whether it is judicial system or it is arbitration. In that context, we have to now examine uh, what we need to do insofar as insolvency is concerned. Of course, as far as insolvency cases are concerned, these are going to be under our IBC, NCLT, NCLAT, and then the appeal to Supreme Court, etc. But we have been thinking, and it's not only in India, word over, that as far as insolvency cases are concerned, they should also be, uh, an attempt should be made to resolve those disputes. What is more important, and when we come specifically to uh, uh, insolvency cases, is that it is uh, 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 one of the ingredients of mediation is when the parties sit together, it is not that the position which they take in the court system or in, in litigation, whether it is in court or it is by means of arbitration, but in mediation, we talk of interest of the parties and not the positions which are there to take. And there can be nothing more important than in uh, 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 insolvency cases where the interests of the parties are taken care of. So that may be one reason that insolvency in, in insolvency matters this mediation can play a very, very important role. Here, what are the interests? When a company is going into insolvency or bankruptcy, etc., and a petition is filed, insofar as promoters are concerned, they will like to 
see or like to ensure that uh, it doesn't go out of their hands. Our present regime under IBC is that if the petition is admitted, IRP is appointed immediately the, uh, and uh, the management is taken over. So therefore, in interest of the promoters is that that thing should not happen. On the other hand, creditors who have come forward and want that, 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 that there are dues which are not paid to them and are payable, they want to salvage as much as possible, even if a company goes into liquidation or even if the management changes and CIRP is there and uh, it changes hands and something is given, we know that uh, CIRP, this, uh, this resolution plan which is passed, it may be with much haircut by the NCLT, but uh, creditors would like that this haircut is as less as possible. So both uh, these are the interests of both the parties. And I think therefore, uh, before the, uh, uh, I mean, we go into the insolvency process, mediation at such circumstances or in such a situation where the interest of both the parties can be taken care of, it becomes important and that can be achieved only by mediation. So in insolvency, mediation uh, takes a prime seat. Of course, as I said in the beginning, insolvency may be relevant in all types of cases. But uh, to emphasize this, that when it comes to insolvency, the uh, mediation can play a very, very important role. That is the reason, if you see in 2017, when as far as Singapore is concerned, the court started emphasizing that in, in, uh, in insolvency matters, we should have this regime uh, of uh, 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 and this uh, mediation. Mediation should be introduced. It has been introduced. And we know that uh, uh, everybody knows about the Singapore uh, uh, declaration where uh, mediation has been adopted. Of course, that relates to international disputes. But then when we come to IBC matters or insolvency matters, which has cross-border ramifications, the Singapore Convention becomes very, very important. Now, in uh, cases, and we, I, I would say here one thing more, that insofar as this mediation is concerned, interestingly, uh, it needs, and uh, uh, or rather these cases are concerned, the approach which is needed is, and I call it a feminist approach, which becomes relevant. Feminist approach means what? It is to take care of maintaining business relation. This approach suggests of maintaining business relationship, which is essential. And it becomes essential in the context of uh, insolvency, whether it is restructuring, whether uh, it is prioritizing financial creditors that uh, who, um, I mean, uh, uh, raise their claims, how to prioritize them. And when it comes to even uh, 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 this, uh, 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 at, at what stage, uh, what should be done and how even CIRP, et cetera, has to be taken care of. And uh, in the interest of uh, economy also, country also, the first attempt is, and that is what the Supreme Court has also said time and again, that attempt has to be made to save the company and liquidation should be only the second step. Here again, mediation can play an important role. So therefore, I, uh, I am of the view that uh, mediation would be and is very, very important. And uh, uh, this, uh, 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 if I may say, I, I actually, as I said, that I have to join and go somewhere else. Otherwise, I could have spoken a lot about it. But one or two things which I would uh, like to uh, address here is that uh, we know, particularly after COVID, the cases are mounted insofar as uh, uh, I, uh, NCLT and CLAT are concerned. And uh, uh, on the one hand, on the other hand, uh, during COVID, many companies uh, felt financial crunch. Many companies have gone bust. Of course, when the cases start pouring in, uh, we know that the cases are going to be flooded. So therefore, uh, we, the, 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 there may be, in spite of uh, 
time uh, lines which are uh, set or which are stated in the uh, insolvency and bankruptcy code but the it would be a herculean task for the uh, nclt to cope up and uh, to adhere to, to those timelines so in order to avoid these delays in adjudication as well mediation may play an important role it uh, uh, saves time it saves money it ensures confidentiality and it uh, will bring uh, uh, can bring uh, out of uh, box uh, solutions and can be financially beneficial for all uh, only one thing uh, i would like to say here is about the uh, whether uh, what kind of provision uh, legal provision whether it is necessary and it should be made or not now we know as well as mediation uh, we are in need of passing a mediation act itself which is required for many many reasons mediation bill is already there it is at final stage we don't know when uh, i mean the, the government is saying that it may come in this very uh, 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 december uh, november december winter uh, session of the parliament we hope it is passed and it has become all the more necessary to have a mediation act after particularly after singapore convention where india is a signatory and we will be able to take care of not only uh, domestic but cross border uh, uh, disputes also and cross border disputes become very very important in so far as insolvency is concerned and in 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 even respect of cross border insolvency provision bill is pending which is again there is uh, 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 i mean uh, at least uh, an expectation that that would also happen in this winter session this uh, 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 law is important the only thing is whether there should be a provision an overarching mediation act we should take care of uh, all the branches or there should be a special provision in uh, under the insolvency and bankruptcy code itself uh, introduced for, in, for the purpose of mediation uh, i mean introducing the provisions of mediation uh, so that is a matter of uh, debate and uh, i had uh, so much to say about that but maybe for next uh, uh, i mean conference whenever it is there so with this i thank you uh, uh, all the uh, uh, thank you organizers akriti and others and i was uh, listening to the previous session about on group insolvency i was really amazed to hear the uh, uh, discussion which last 15 or 20 minutes which i joined which was of very high standard and uh, i am sure that all sessions must have gone like that and uh, i congratulate uh, the organizers for organizing such a good program thank you very much thank you thank you so much sir for those very interesting insights especially with respect to the mediation act that you point out so thank you so much for sparing some of your precious time from your busy schedule and gracing our uh, closing session gracing our closing session with those very pertinent and significant keynote remarks so yeah